in the NHL game, of course, NHL 19. If you haven't noticed on my broadcast of YouTube's of late, this happens to be one of my favorite sports games that I've been doing broadcasting for a while. As you wait for me, as I do a clear mic check to see if y'all can hear me, uh, I'm hoping everybody's having a good Saturday. I had a blast today. Uh, I actually did some photography work for one of my friends at church and beautiful wedding very beautiful wedding uh, I, I'm actually glad that I was part of taking their pictures and um, okay I got that mic check checked out and very very wonderful wedding so guys, here's what I'm about to do. I'm about to do one of my Bible verses that I have started doing at the beginning of each broadcast before we get into the gameplay. And so please bear with me. My reading is not always that great. So I do encourage you to go and read behind me and see what you get out of the Bible verses. You might get some different than I do. That's how God works. He, he reveals things that you probably haven't read the first go-around. So read it the second time. So here we go. We're going to be in St. Mark chapter 5 verse 35 and uh, here, here here's what we're doing uh, pretty much this is where he's going oh, across the sea so uh, again Mark St. Mark chapter 4 verse 35 okay I think I said that wrong before but Here's what we're doing. And, it, and in the same day when the Lord, or when, when uh, the even, evening was come, he saith unto them, Let's pass over to the other side. And when they had sent away the multitude, they took him even, even as he was in the ship and therefore were also with him other little ships other little ships again guys sorry for my reading but bear with me and there arose a great storm and storm of wind and the waves bath beaten unto the ship so that it was now full and he was in the hind hind bar part hind barn hind hinder parts of the ship asleep on the pillow on the pillow again my bad guys this is more ring than I usually do uh, and they awake him and say something him master cares not thou we prayers he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace, be still. And when the wind seated, and there was a great calm. And he said unto unto them, Why are, why are ye so fearful? How is it that ye have no faith? And they feared exceedingly exceedingly and said one unto the other what manner of man is this that even the winds and the sea obey him okay so here, here here's what we're doing for that Bible verse um, at the beginning of the at the beginning of these verses God said Let, let's go cross over to the other side to me, what these verses are saying, when God says go to go to an area, you should have plenty of faith that God's going to send you to that area where He wants you to go. However, there is going to be some trials and tribulations, and then sometimes when life life stuff happens, goes out of whack, 
you'd be going like, God, do you really want me to go here or not? I mean, really, I mean, our faith does get a little thin. And uh, that's why after God, to me, after he rebukes the wind, peace be still, he turns back to the people, and he, to his disciples, and go like, why are you so fearful? I said we was going to go to the other side, so you should have plenty of faith that we're going to make it, even in a storm like this. So, you know, I mean, storms do come in our life, and if you trust God, you should be good, right? But, you know, we're human. We really get a fe we get, we get a fear that comes over us. And most Christians, let's just say, hey, God is bigger. God is greater. He can get me out of this storm, especially if he told you to go do something. So that's our Bible verse today. And I, I hope y'all get some meaning out of these uh, Bible verses that I do for you at the beginning of each of my broadcasts. I know it takes a little long, and I know that was a little bit longer than I usually do, but I just felt led to read those Bible verses, and yes, I do look over some of these Bible verses before I do this broadcast. And then there's some of them that I just plan a week ahead, but uh, sometimes I just still gotta sit and read before I do these broadcasts, and uh, that's one of the script that's the few scriptures that uh, I was led to today so with that being said guys today's broadcast is also uh, in the NHL 19 I've already said this and uh, we're gonna be in the world of chill uh, this part of the NHL game is starting to be my favorite and I can go into details why when we log in uh, this broadcast is brought to you by Coke. No, they do not pay me to say this, but Coke is the best soft drink that you can ever drink. Even Coke Zero. Any Coke product. Coke. We still serve in glass. <laughs> yeah. I, I wish they got. I wish I got paid for that. Okay, so since the last time we've been on here, guys, I have finally got my Canes hoodie. Got it right here. See, got my Canes hoodie. So I re I redid my outfit. I'm still I'm still supporting the uh, camo skates there. Nice skates, man. Nice. So still get that going on. Uh. Today we're actually going to do a little bit different. Um, I usually be on this one right here, the Pro, uh, Pro AM, and the Ones. Okay, so we're going to actually change this up a little bit, and we're going to go in the NHL threes. Pretty much, uh, this game is a three-on-three -on -three online versus player action. I'm liking it. it. It's a it's a good. Uh, I I haven't met a bad player yet, which that could change today. So okay, here, here here's what it does. Uh, you can pick like uh, I I don't I don't know what that one is, so I can't really tell you about that one. But it's pretty much a forward, a defenseman center and a winger um, pretty much the winger and the forward is the two sides of the center and um, I'm usually a defensive kind of guy anyway so we're that's what we're gonna actually go with is the def defensive uh, I do believe in a strong defense and uh, going back to the Bible related verses God is your best defensive man against the world. Be believe it or not, it is true. So, yeah, you know, defensive. So, I'm more like Christ playing defensively. If if that works out. <laughs> but, hey. So, we're going to say we're ready. It's going to start uh, matchmaking for, 
four game. We'll get into it. And hopefully I won't get no bad players cussing out out the wazoo. That's always the scare. Uh, hello everybody. I'm doing a broadcast for gaming. Uh, Firebugs Gaming for fun. If you we can, please keep it clean. I would greatly appreciate it. As we wait, we'll get into this part of the broadcast where how well do you think the Carolina Hurricanes and other sports teams in the Hockey League is going to do this season? Me personally, I do think the Carolina Hurricanes does have a great shot of bringing home the Stanley Cup this year, especially with the new coaches and the new player change of plans. Cam Ward, I'm still wondering if he's playing or not. Since he's not in this game as a starter goalie for the Hurricanes, I really don't know. And here we go. right to really get this one amped up and underway. Show these guys the love. This game of threes action is underway. Crap, 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 crap. And scores! Now this ain't basketball, but he did just score a three. Really? And this next puck is worth three to the score. Here we go. Go! Oh, we got it. We got it. Sweet. Good. Great teamwork, guys. Great teamwork. Ah, man. Are you serious? Sorry, guys. So these games are pretty intense, guys, if you haven't noticed. I'm open. And no, doesn't even get there. Break 
away. Crap. Oh, I just hit my own player. My bad. Folks, it's time for that grand old three. Here he comes. We're going happy Gilmore tonight. Oh, oh, oh my! Mr. Fancy Sticks with the top shell. Fans, they seem to be one play in this one. Next one could bust this wide open. Oh, they score! Great teamwork, guys. Great. We got a goal. When a money puck is in play, every goal counts for the piece. That's no good. How are they getting all these pucks? This isn't your grandpa's game of hockey. This is Freeze! He's in! Crap. Oh, direct hit. Oh, oh, my. Full throttle hit. Oh, that's a puck hog. Remorseless hit. Life can be so cruel. That's going to bring this period of great threes action to a conclusion. But don't you dare fret, there's more where that came from. See you in 15 minutes, folks. High scoring affair tonight, fans. That's the way these games of threes usually go. All offense, all the time. Let's get this one going again. Game on! Him and the goalie scores! That is messed up. They make this look too darn easy. This is turning into a real blowout, folks. Gargantuous. Not a word. Oh, come on, guys. Breaks free. And stopped in his tracks with that great save. They call that a blocker, folks. <gasps> I got a goal. That was me. That was actually that was actually my character, guys. That was that was mine. That was mine. <laughs> Sorry guys, you too. We got more grilling to do. Let's go, boys. Hold the salt and pass the mustard. Oh, I got the puck and I lost it by accident. These players need a little shot of energy. What say we give it to them? Ah, boo. Show them how much you appreciate them. Teamwork, guys. Good teamwork. Now we're actually getting some work. Here comes the pain, fans. This next one will set someone back on the old scoreboard. Oh, man. Oh, man, I 
in breakaway fashion. And there's no goal on the breakaway. Gigantic stop. Wrecked. Ah, oh, man. Come on. Come on. Ah. Ah. Pass me the puck. He shoots it, and that <sighs> right threes action, folks. And as the saying goes, to the spoils go the vi the victor, victory. Uh, how's that go again? Yeah. Oh boy. I am not good at my job. <laughs> All right, so guys, that is the threes of how this is played. What a fantastic evening of hockey. Uh, I'm actually just gonna do one game of those today but yeah that's usually how these threes goes and I like how I like how the uh, NHL has done that however uh, there is also a threes thing on this one uh, there's also a six versus six on that as well I don't know if they're counting the goalies in that or not uh, I, I'm assuming so but I haven't really played on that yet. I have played on the three versus three. Pretty much, it's the, it's the same thing. Three, uh, same as the threes that you played on. But the the difference is that ice was smaller than the traditional ice of hockey, if anybody knows it. Uh, and uh, it is outside instead of inside the uh, inside the uh, inside the threes. Uh, However, I do think with the smaller ice rink with the threes, it's more, a little more intense. So I mean, it's it's a good game, especially how the NHL has done it. And uh, I'm actually gonna go in to the uh, to the main game, like the Carolina Hurricanes versus such and such teams, because I do want to take this last couple minutes of this broadcast to talk about the future of the Carolina Hurricanes and of this season and I'm actually gonna pull out my phone for this uh, and I know I am wearing that home jersey but I am starting to like their new alternate jersey and that's this all Carolina related I really want this jersey I don't know how I'm going to get it yet. My wallet is telling me no. Save for Christmas. I've already got one Christmas gift done. And I'm really, really trying to keep my mind off of it. Because I really want the same thing. So, yeah. Uh, but very good jersey. I, I, I love the New Jersey's layout for the third jersey. Of course, I'm more of an old-fashioned guy. I like the old jerseys. I still got the logos on the on the shoulders. However, they do got the black and black logos on the shoulders of this one, uh, and they got the state of North Carolina flag on one of those shoulders. I like that twist because now South Carolina cannot say this is their team as well because it's all North Carolina related. And if you look closely at the flags, and if you go online. In the flags, in between it, is an outline of North Carolina. Not North and South Carolina, but North Carolina. And, duh, they're in Raleigh. So, yeah, it's all North Carolina. Not Charlotte. Okay? Just to throw that out there with people. Um, you know what? We'll, we'll let them play the, the L.A. Kings. And, uh... I usually play this game for 20 minutes, as you can see. However, I am going to change that down to 10 to 5 minutes. Because that's how much longer I'm going to do this broadcast. Because uh, after, after that, you know what, let's do 6 minutes. After the 6 minutes mark is up, this broadcast is done. Um... So, 
in this part of the broadcast, since we're playing the NHL game, we've got six minutes to tell you how the Canes is going to be looking and how everybody else is looking in the NHL up to this point of this game. Uh, Hi everyone, along with yeah, let, let me get these guys off real quick. Because I hate talking over these guys. I'm sorry guys, but yeah. Uh, volumes. Play by play. Arena announcer volume. Commentary volume. I think that's it. Yep, that was it. Okay, so guys, let's get into the preseason. Uh, just for starters, the Canes have done one, two, three, four, five. Five of their preseason, and I'm assuming their last preseason game is tomorrow at 1.30. Hopefully, I can watch that game either on the phone or, or on... Uh, hopefully it's on a channel. Who knows? I don't know. I doubt they do preseasons. But I'm going to keep score of it any way I can. And um, I think this season opener is on the 4th of October for the Carolina Hurricanes. And as of right now, as the Carolina Hurricanes have had an undefeated record in the preseason, more or less shocking, uh, especially when you're going up with the Washington Capitals. Those guys are more or less, more or less like the Patriots in hockey, okay? These guys are really good. If you give me a minute, I'm actually going to turn uh, the volume down for the crowd. I'm getting... I'm getting really irritated here. I don't know why. Um, crowd volume. There we go. I'm sorry, crowd, but I have to silence you for a brief, for the brief of this broadcast. I will put it back on now. But uh, so here, here we go, guys. So the Carolina Hurricanes got an undefeated record for preseason. I know skepticalism for preseason is is very skeptical because you know you really don't know uh, most people do well in preseason and they really don't do well during the main season. But unlike football, I do think a pre preseason in hockey is more of a good indicator than uh, than most of football preseason uh, but I can tell you the scores and I think I told you some of the scores from last week as well but and I will start from last week because we haven't really gotten that much uh, Tampa Bay 4 to 1 at Tampa Bay uh, 6 to 1 Tampa Bay at our home yes we beat them uh, Washington 5 to 1 at our home uh, Nashville Four to one. We're getting really high scores in these high, high, high scoring uh, for hockey. Period. And then Washington at their home ice, we beat them five to four. Uh, and that one was an overtime game. I actually, tra I actually kept track of that one uh, in between my lunch breaks. And uh, I do think the hockey for hockey season. Carolina Hurricanes does have a promising team. We have promising uh, rookies who's trying to get on this team, and they're working very hard, and they're they're earning their spots on the ice. Me personally, I am super excited for the Carolina Hurricanes this season, and I'm actually going to try to go to their game on the 20th. And uh, I've actually got some plans to get Stormy's attention. 
I just gotta find a pig mask. I just gotta find one of those things. I will get Stormy's attention. You mark my word. But, uh, for the Carolina Hurricanes, I do think they have a good, good enough uh, teams, uh, a team for this upcoming hockey season. And I don't believe in much in stats because stats means squat as soon as you get on the ice. The stats only just shows the history of a player. And uh, I, I, be I believe as Ki Carolina's history as a team, we are getting better. They are playing better as a team, in my personal opinion. However, they do need to get some improvements. And I do think the new Carolina Hurricanes head coach is going to do that. I do, I do think we got the team that can go to playoffs and win another Stanley Cup. Specifically, before the Carolina Panthers win or go to the Super Bowl again. Uh, and the reason I say this, Cam Newton for Carolina Sports. Look, Cam, stay in the pocket, get some guys open, throw the ball. Respect your offensive line too, so they can, so they go like, hey, this is the guy I, I want to protect on my football team. And to every sport player, including hockey, basketball, football, uh, baseball, any sports athlete. Let me ask, uh, I challenge y'all to be the most humblest of players, be kind to the fans, and right now hockey is winning. Just because the hockey players are actually more uh, fan-oriented sport, just because they treat their fans pretty well. Uh, football, not so much, but Cam Newton is doing better. I will say that. However, guys, I do still think the Carolina Hurricanes can make it. What we're going to do now is we're going to go to some other top teams that I kind of like that I watch. And I'm going to start off with the Anaheim Ducks. Uh, the Ducks is literally my second favorite team just because of the Mighty Ducks movies that Disney has made. And if anybody agrees with me, please like, comment, and very much comment on this YouTube uh, video that Disney needs to make another Mighty Ducks movie. And here's how you can do it. It's a new generation of players, a new generation, but you can bring back one of the hockey uh what was his name? Uh, Charlie. You can bring back Charlie, and he become he comes back out as the coach of the new Mighty Ducks team, and he's he's uh, training this new Mighty Ducks team, and he it just has a lot of memories of how when he used to play, and it just, this team reminds him of his old team that he used to play with. I think this would be cool. You can also set it up as where he. Uh, he gets injured in hockey after making it, or he just simply retires after after for so long being hockey, like being this all-time star player or something. There is a way to work that out, and I hope they do it. But getting back to the Anaheim Ducks, uh, as I'm looking at their preseason scores right now, it looks like they're not as doing as well as the Canes. However, they have won two. Uh, and uh, they have lost three and if you're watching this video and you're gonna be after you watch this what are you gonna watch you might want to watch your game tonight at 1030 is it gonna be televised I don't know depending where you're at where hockey is big or not I'm in the south so that's gonna be less likely to happen so uh, However, I am going to keep the scores on the phone. And I do love this NHL app, and no, they're not paying me to say this, but if you want to keep scores of any of your favorite teams in the NHL, please download the NHL app. It is the benefit of keeping up with scores of your favorite teams when you got other plans to do and you can't get around a TV. Now, they do also have a payment plan of where you can watch out-of-market games. 
which that is a disadvantage to that as well because I I paid for it one year and hoping to watch the Canes and I still couldn't get to watch the Canes until two days after the fact. So I get it just for the scoreboards because that's all I'm using it for nowadays. By all means, best app. Better than the football league uh, because now the NHL app will let you track more than just one team. The football apps, however, Carolina Panthers, that's all you get to track. Not everybody else. So this this is a very good app for any of you hockey fans out there. And if any of you hockey fans have already gotten this, please tell them how great it is under the comments. And again, no, they are not paying me for this. I am just giving out good reviews as I see them. Hockey game-wise to app-wise for the games. So I'm just saying. And yes, this is how I'm getting my information as well. I also do want to go to one more and uh, I don't know about y'all, but this team has earned the third favorite team and I'm actually stopping there at three favorite teams in hockey. Uh, this team was new last year and if you already know what I'm talking about. It is the Golden Knights. And let me see if I say that right. Yes, the Golden Knights. Uh, for the first time in hockey in a while, a team that just started made it to playoffs, and they made it all the way to the top tier of last season. So can they get it again? Can they go back and face the Washington Capitals? Yes, I do believe they still got that good team that's still going, and they I think they got some good rookies this offseason. I haven't really kept up with them on the offseason, except for the Carolina Hurricanes. However, guys, they're, uh, what I'm seeing as their, uh, as their uh, preseason, they actually got a couple more games more than the Carolina Hurricanes of right now, and uh, they have won, uh, let's see here, one, two, three, four, Five. Five out of six games. That is pretty darn good. Me personally still thinks that they're gonna they're most likely gonna make it back to playoffs, if not the final championship. Is this one of the teams that Carolina Hurricanes need to be afraid of? Yes indeed. Along with the Penguins, of course, because the Penguins have they've got the best player and they've got a good team set around that player. And yes, I understand there is no I in team, but Sidney Crosby knows how to use his team to the advantage of winning games. Yes, he is that smart on the ice. And I am not going to discredit that at all. I do think, however, that game is going... He's going to get some pretty good games. And as my minute is almost up, I do want to go out and say that these three teams again this year is something that I'm going to be looking forward to to see watch play especially the Carolina Hurricanes and with that buzzard the season or er, the period is over in this game and it's time for me to sign off but I will say this guys please do not put any games any sports before Jesus Christ this is why I do those uh, verses before uh, bef before the gameplay and I also remind you about it after we're done. Again, guys, if you like my broadcast and if you got any suggestions for me or any suggestions of video games that you want to see of gameplay, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Uh, and I will continue to say this, though, guys. It is going to be a very interesting day of how the Carolina Hurricanes is going to go this season along with those other two teams that I have mentioned with the Anaheim Ducks and the Golden Knights. I, I was very impressed with them last season. I was kind of disappointed that they didn't get the Stanley Cup because that would have been sweet. Uh, however, I don't know. I'm usually skeptical in football because I think it's rigged now. I don't see how that game was rigged for the Caps to win. I haven't figured it out yet. But I do think that the Caps did deserve it. And unlike football, the refs do keep it even, Steven, if they see one player do one thing and they call it, and they see another team do the exact same thing, they will call it. 
So yeah, that's why I'm a hockey fan. The refs are more down to earth and keeping it even, Steven. Uh, and they're they're more uh, they're they're more I uh, call them than all your other sports. However, guys, thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Again, please do not forget to like, subscribe, and comment at the bottom. I hope you enjoyed this uh, broadcast because I did and I hope I'm doing better to keeping y'all entertained for this YouTube channel again guys I will see you next time and again I will say this I am thinking about going back to Fortnite however I'm gonna do two more broadcasts of Fortnite of the new sixth season and that is going to be all the broadcast I will do for the sixth season. Because the map has changed and I gave out a few pointers in my last one. So please guys, keep in touch, let me know, and hey, if there is a game you want to see, let me know. I'll see if I can get it. I do, however, have this one request. I do try to keep the games under rated T to rated E. Rated M occasionally if it's... A Call of Duty game, uh, violence-wise, not sexual perversion and uh, cussing. Just remember, keep the games clean, and I will broadcast them. So, guys, again, thank you for watching, and everyone have a God-blessed day. And a reminder: go to your local church; they might like to have you. Y'all have a good one. Catch you later.